um, this is the intelligent report I want to give to you and to Biafran people. There was a setup. They wanted to use court to install Atiku as president. Yeah. So when they planned that plan, they discovered that the uh, Nigerian people are getting wiser, that that one will not fly. That was the first step. They want to use court to remove the the fake worry that is sitting. And let me tell you, I have the re, the re Buhari's phone number when he was not even a president. I have that number when he was not a president. He was using the number when he was still, when he becomes the president. His direct number, I'm not telling you chief of this, chief of that number. I had that number. Who know, who know, know that that number is full of three, 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 three full of threats. Now, when Buhari died, was when Femi Adesina take over that number, begin to answer as if it's Buhari. Now, I live in Asolok for two years. Let me tell you, when Eyal Adua and Atiku contest the election, a night before the day, a night to the day that the uh, court want to give a judgment to election of uh, Ayala Adua and Atiku. Atiku, uh, anybody that's in DSS should know what I'm saying. Atiku and Ayala Adua had a meeting in Bonquent Hall. They had a meeting in Bonquent Hall. They exchanged handshaking. That's when I see that these leaders call Nigerian people fools, momos. After they finish their their the judgment on, in Bon, the judgment took place in Bonquet Hall. I think who honorably stepped down for Yaradua, late Yaradua. <clears throat> so after they did all the jamboree they did, I was there in Bonquet Hall. Gaddafi was there. So. Whoever that knows this truth should come and prove me wrong. I challenge whosoever that knows this fact that I'm saying today should come and prove me wrong on the social media. Confirm me that Gaddafi, you are lying. I was in Bonquet Hall. They had that meeting, finish, drink their tea, finish, do their nonsense, finish in Bonquet Hall. I think we left for uh, to Dubai. I think we left for Dubai. The daytime, they give a judgment that Yaradua won. Now, Atiku has been like a patient dog waiting for his turn because the presidency of this country are rotational within them in the north. Atiku knew that Buhari was dead. Buhari is dead. Atiku knew it. So they told Atiku, hold on. After eight years, he will continue. I think we swear the, the legends of the secrecy that he will continue the legacy. These these people, these terrorists sponsoring, these terrorists financing, even as I'm talking to you actively, I think who is sponsoring terrorists. Quote me, I am Gaddafi. I'm telling you what I am sure of. I think who is sponsoring this thing. Now, when this thing is being done, they finish their meeting. Atiku went to Dubai. Buhari, um, Yaradua was declared the winner of the case after they have reconciled with him themselves. Now, during the time of uh, uh, this guy, Atiku and Buhari, they told Atiku, Igbo man can never be your vice. Yes, you won this election, but we are not giving it to you. Wait. Choose another better. I'm giving you intelligent report. Who is close to Asrock listening to the sound of my voice should prove me right or wrong. Call. I'm giving you time. Call. Call in this program. Mazi 247. Post your number. Display your number. Let who know 
or who will prove me wrong? Call, call and say, Gaddafi, you are lying. Well, um, so, so they now, after everything, they told that you to wait, your turn will come, that you win, but due to you carry evil man as your running mate, you cannot be the president. Um, Buhari got to come, this fake Buhari have to com complete his eight years. I think we patiently waited because he was very, very sure that they're going to give him the ticket. He waited, and that is why they come back to rerun. Then, when they wanted to use court to insert Atiku as the president, they now discover if they insert Atiku through court, P2B will automatically be his vice. They now drop that agenda. No. Let's go to fresh election. Let me tell you the result of 2023 election. The next president of Nigeria is not Tinimbo. The next president of Nigeria is Atiku. Atiku has won to continue the agenda of Fulani taking over Nigeria. If you think the next president will be better than what you have, you are joking. You are a joker. What I'm trying to let you know is go and write it down. If it did not come to pass, Gaddafi come on air to talk to you. Spit on me. Tell me to get out. The next president of your zoo is Atiku Abubakar. You know why they want? They don't want to. They pacify Tinubu by giving him uh, APC ticket. They already know that APC are returning power to to PDP. Now they just give Tinubu to carry him along to fuck him up at the dying minutes. Go and write this thing again, and that I'm telling you, Tinubu can never be the president of Nigeria. Can never. So this is fact. Go write it down. Prove me wrong. It's as good as when I betted with some people in Asorok when I told them that good luck say he's going to repair a refinery. I thought Joshua Darie, Solomon Iwuga about all your business. Gaddafi did that. I was close to Solomon Iwuga, Solomon Iwuga, FCT former minister, and at uh, uh, Joshua Darie. So when good luck say he's going to build, Refinery. I told them, if good luck repair the refinery, I will bet with you, I will pay you any amount I, you want. What I'm trying to let you know is that Nigeria can never be good. The best thing to do is to go on our separate way. So, last, 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 last. The next president is Atiku. They will fuck Buhari, uh, Tudimbu up at the dying minute. Thank you, 247. You can go from there. I challenge anybody who thinks he knows better than me uh, to call on this program and prove me wrong. Thank you.